Hallelujah. Uh, I, um, I was going to read Psalms 1, but Elder so kindly did it this morning. So there's really no use for me to go over it again to take up the time. So I will come to you to speak a few words about godly and what it means. A godly life means living a life focused on heavenly things as opposed to temporary things. I must love and honor God. The first principle of godly is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Matthew 22 and 37. Living godly is about seeking the kingdom of heaven above everything. Being aware of God's presence in our life. Living the way God wants us to live. Believing in ourselves to do the work of God. Be aware. Now we are seeking the kingdom of heaven and above. To live godly, we must have faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Faith is the foundation and strength of our belief in Jesus Christ. A godly woman controls her thoughts, taking them captured and making them obedience to Christ. In 2 Corinthians, to walk in godliness, walk with God, it is decide that God will hold your hand at all times. In trouble or whatever we are going through, he will hold our hand. 1 Peter 4, 16, tell us that if you suffer because you are a Christian, don't be ashamed of it. But led, but instead, let him, let glory, don't be ashamed of it. Let him glorify you, God, on his behalf. Let God glorify you on his behalf. A godly life is the best of everything that we can achieve. But only through believing and giving ourselves over to God. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, brethren, by the mercy of God, present your body as a living sacrifice, wholly accepted unto God, which is your reasonable service. Faith in God, obedience to God, meditate on his word, giving to others, forgiving others, God living. Lord, I praise you for you endure faithfulness in all your precious promise. Thank you for forgiving everything, for giving me everything I need that pretend to live a life of godliness. The word, the Bible. It's for God give us to live a godly life. Read it. Meditate on it. Pray. pray. Do your Bible study. It, it takes all of that in order to give a godly life. If you see someone in need, be godly. Do your best to help them out. Don't go back out and say, I did this, I did that. That is not godly. Being godly is doing things and doing it from the heart. Amen. That is how God wants us to live in order to live a godly life. I thank you. That's what it takes to live a godly life. It's not a halfway thing. It's not something that you're done halfway. It's something that you had to go all the way.
Praise God. Good morning, church. Hello. Let me first say, I would love to give, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give honor to God. And I want to thank our, our pastor, our leader, for calling me this week and asked me to speak on this uh, particular subject, which is uh, walking in holiness as a man. I just, now when he, he hit me, I'm like, he hit me with it, I'm like, oh. And y'all know how he is. I'm just, just being up there. I'm just doing what he had me do. Like, okay, Pastor. So, I have to do the same. All right. So, first, what is holiness? It's the state of being holy. It's a life of holiness and giving total devotion to God. All right. True holiness <clears throat> is a life of discipline, focus, and attention to all matters of righteous living. Mama, you know, I was a little worried this week about passing this message, message on the right way. You know, I'm, I, I got that where I'm, I want to make sure I'm, I can help somebody. So I'm going I'm to talk about my walk. I'm going to talk about my mistakes and what God has led me to do so it's going to be kind of a story all right before i got on this path, this path that i'm on now and i you know i'm not afraid you know i i want to help somebody where i used to get this all the time from my wife baby you can't just be a good man you have to include god in it you have to include God in it. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I, I, I was a small business owner, me and my brother, living successfully. My family had everything at one time and didn't care. For but because I did not include God in it, I lost it. I lost it. It wasn't because that I was doing anything wrong. You know, I was one of the best, me and my brother, we were one of the best IC owners in the south region of, uh, of this state. But because we didn't include God in it, you get corporate tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, we're going another direction. And the day that that happened, I understood why it happened. It was because we did not include God in it. It, we just thought it was just us. Now, with the money and everything, and being able to provide for my wife and my children, you know, I felt incomplete. So I got on, you know, I'm, I'm telling myself that this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to help somebody. So I became a coach. Became a football coach. Now, I'm, I'm different from most coaches that you see on, that you hear about and, and y'all seen around. I'm, I'm the coach that if a kid is not doing what they're supposed to do, they don't play. And if they're not performing in school the way they're supposed to perform, they don't play. All right? I'm on the high school level. I took that from the youth up into high school. And I've been a very successful coach. I've, I've won games. I've played. I've coached in state games. I've coached in all-star games. All right? I, I'm, I'm trying not to get too far out there and lose y'all, but just, just bear with me. So I started doing that. I enjoyed it. Was enjoying it. Enjoying the success of being a coach. He's my witness. He'll tell you I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do. All right, but after a while of, of, of winning the championships and and being successful, 
coaching in the Florida Georgia All Star games, I still did not get it. I still didn't include him enough in it. Y'all understand me? I, I I didn't. So it got stagnant to me. It was, man, I'm done. All right. There's no there's no joy in this for me anymore. When yet and still he's telling me that this is what I called you to do is to help people, shine, shine a light on people. But I still wasn't including him in it. Then you start having your own financial troubles and thinking that you can do it on your own and you can't, man. You, you, you have to include God in everything. And like I say, I'm, I'm a work in progress and I'm still a work in progress and I'm still on this journey of learning. So I got tired of just watching my children and my wife becoming better people and I'm still stuck. I'm still, you, you understand, I'm still stuck on me. I, I can fix this. I'm the man. I had no joy. So finally, I, you know, I, I thank my wife because I, I, I cannot, I couldn't, I couldn't get to this point without her in my life. I'm so happy God has put her in my life because she's constantly stayed in my ear. Baby, you got to get on the path. You got to get on this path. What are you waiting for? So finally, you know what? <laughs> I, I can't do this on, on my own. I got to go to the Father to help me. And when I finally decided to come to the Father, things start happening to me that, oh, man, I, I thank him for allowing me to brush my teeth, being able to tie my shoes, waking me up every morning, talk about my job. I work, I'm not going to say the name on in front of the camera, but I work in a place that is of the world. I'm talking about it is of the world. And when I got on this path, I'm still learning. I find I'm still learning. I got on this path, and as I was going to work, I was, like, disgusted. Like, you could see the emotion. And, you know, one of my coaching buddies was like, hey, he's my buddy in Christ, too. Hey, Reese, man, you, boy, you win your emotions. Boy, you, boy, when you disapprove of something, you show it. And the reason why I'm saying this is when you're walking in the path of holiness, you have to understand you're, how can I say it, you're, you're there to show people the light. You have to be distinctly different from those people. Where if, if you was a, per, a person like I once was when I, I started getting, because I told myself, I'm just going to surround myself that, with people that's walking on the same path as me. I'm not taking no chance of me falling back into what I once went through. And I, you know, I, I still didn't get it. I still didn't get why he put me here, why he put me in a position that I was supposed to be in. And I've learned that I'm there to, to help others. When I walk in the room, I would like for people to say, he different. I don't have to go up and, 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 and give a sermon to him or, 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 or preach to him, but he's different. And, and, and when I've, when I, what I've learned is that when I started doing that, people started coming to me. You know, I, I, I have kids that they come up to me, and, and my wife had to remind me, Look at all the kids that come up to you upon their graduation, and they're saying, Coach, thank you. you like a father figure, and that's, that's nothing but God. The journey is not easy. It's not. It's always an obstacle. And, man, listen to me. I, I have to give this brother the, 
the, the, the, the praise. I have to thank God for putting this brother in my life. He's always calling me big bro, big bro, big bro. Man, brother Walt. Bro, you just don't know how much you do for me, especially when I'm having a, when I'm having a, like I said, I'm a work in progress, and on your job, <clears throat> it never fails. God has walked to send me some type of message to bring me back every time, and I mean, every, it never fails. And that's only God that's doing that. You know, it's only God. And listen to me, man. You people have helped me raise my children. I didn't do it by myself. The pastor, Pastor Sheldon, I hate to bring this up, but when his mom passed, and to see him still coming to church, his love for God and his love for God, people, man, you, man, I'm so thankful that God has put me in the position that I am and to speak on his truth to other people, to let them know that he is our Savior. And you can't do it alone. I'm not able to, to get to this point in my life without him. He is everything to me. Everything. I thank you for allowing me to put the, the key in the ignition. Be able to brush my hair. I, I, I can go on and on. And, and what I'm saying to, to walk in holiness people. We have to understand that we are here to spread God's love and light to others. And that's my time. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are called by God, I mean, you can run and go in all different directions. You could run as far as you want to. You could be like Jonah. We all gonna have to end up to do what God says because we are called to duty to work for God. I got saved at a very young age, and I go to church, and then the enemy whispered in my ear, "You too young." You haven't experienced the world yet. And I backslid and left the church and went into that wicked world. And that world aimed me to make some choices that I'm regretted every day. When we make choices, when we make bad choices, here come behind consequences. Consequences is there for the choices that we make in our life. We have to think before you run and make choices. When God calls us to do something, we never really want to. But in the end, we really have to. So let's just give God some praise for our speaker this morning. A lady who tell you what a God, a woman supposed to be, how we're supposed to live. How we supposed to serve God? How we supposed to stay in the word? A man will tell you he live a life so his light can shine into that dark world. He make a difference. He is different and they could see that he is different and they can see that God is in his life. And all that this world have to offer, it will not last. No matter how you think that you're doing good and it's great. If God is not in it, if God is not in your business, if God is not in your life, we are running a race in vain.
until we put God in it. Then we start to go through smoothly. Yeah, we're going to go through some things in this world, but God is there with us every step of the way. Let, let's just give God some praise this morning because he, He's so wonderful. He, he's so great. Let's just, let's just stand and just lift up holy hand and not for me, but for God from our heart. Just, just praise Him. Because just look back in your life right now and see what God has brought you from and what He's doing. And if you commit ourselves in His hand, then we surrender all. I said, surrender all to Him, all to Jesus. We'll surrender all, not some, all. And trust Him. Lay all our cares on Him because He cares. It is not a show. Is not, it, it, it is God truly committed and not because we're not seeing him but we shall just see him through his Holy Spirit we don't see the wind but that doesn't mean the wind isn't there we can feel the wind blowing but we do not see the wind we see the movement of the wind you see that God is like the wind and you let him in your life He's, he'll take care of everything not seen through our own eyes but our own eyes will deceive us because our own eyes deceive us so many times but seen through God allow God to cleanse us allow God to lead us totally committed hallelujah thank you Jesus for this wonderful preachers today thank you Jesus for the word that you give us today Lord God your word is here to cleanse us and to direct our pathways. Truly, God is good. Hallelujah. The hallelujah. One more time. Give a hand out for the preacher. Give a hand out for Mighty Young. Hallelujah. Give a hand out for the preachers today. The word is good. Be encouraged, my brother. Be encouraged, mother. Just keep on. God will be with you every step, every step of the way. Hallelujah. I feel happy today. <laughs> the one time I couldn't say hallelujah. <laughs> the one time I was sitting at the back. And look at me now. I don't have no fear of saying hallelujah. I'm going to say hallelujah when I'm time to say hallelujah. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Hallelujah. Because I know who is my God. He's a good, good father. That's who he is. Hallelujah. Truly at this time, um, for those that are in uh, TV land, <laughs> watching us on our internet, we thank you for being with us today. Thank you all for listening to the word of God. Hope that this word is being a blessing to you and uh, encouraging you that you will make the same choices that all of us made and give it to Jesus and he's able to carry it through but first of all you have to give yourself to him when you give yourself to him then he take care of your business praise the Lord hallelujah